So, hey, Dylan's Chronicles family, this is Dr. Wayne here. I wanted to start a new segment, and this new segment is called The Church Mafia Rant. Yes, 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 yes. The Church Mafia Rant. So let's talk about what this rant is about. You know sometimes how you go through are your comments and people say the most salacious things? And I mean this as humbly as possible. These sayings or these comments are coming from a place of ignorance. So I'm going to talk about the one that I saw last night during the... Uh, what was it last night that we did? The 29 Days of Warfare for February. And I want to talk about this. So in one of the comments on TikTok, somebody said, Well, you know, sometimes you have to let Jesus just deliver you. What? Why would Jesus do something that he's given us the authority to do? Let's nip this in the butt right now. Jesus is not doing something that he has commanded us to do in the Great Commission. Go out, preach the gospel, heal the sick, cast out demons. No thing, nothing shall harm you. And so in many instances, we see people who don't have full command of the gospel, not that anyone does, but a basic understanding of the gospel of what the Great Commission is and what we should be doing make these salacious remarks. Now that remark was made in attempt to say that you don't need deliverance ministers. Well, just to be clear, there is not one scripture in the Bible that self deliverance is even mentioned. Now hear me. I don't want you to take it the wrong way. I do self-deliverance every day. But I also go to a different individual that is not even a part of my ministry and I will sit and have them do deliverance on me. Now, all of the deliverance ministers that I'm common and associated with we all do the same thing. But to say to just let Jesus deliver you, it is not biblical. Now, can the Holy Ghost deliver you from some things after you have prayed? After somebody has laid hands on you? Yes, because the truth of the matter is, I'm not the deliverer. We are not the deliverers. We are vessels used by God to deliver messages to preach, teach, to be the hands, the mouthpiece for Jesus, the Spirit of God, so that He does the work. Our gifts and our anointing is not given by us. Our rank in the Spirit is not self-promotional. You see a lot of people running around calling themselves an apostle with no fruits, no evidence of their apostleship. Now let's talk about, this is part of my rap. All of the prophets on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, there is a proliferation. Yes, that's one of those $13 words of prophets on TikTok. I even saw one young lady that calls herself a prophet, but she's prophesying openly by divination. How do you know? She's using tarot cards and people are paying her. Now, here's my issue with most of the prophets on TikTok. Let me say most, because in our disobedience, for those of us who are called in the prophetic, and we have not walked in that place, we've created a vacuum and have caused a bunch of people to operate in this space that are not, either not ready. There goes my clock again, hold on. either not ready, does not understand that God has a standard, uh, in love with Jezebel because everything about their parents is Jezebelic, and they call, they get all dialed up, makeup, eyelashes. There's this one dude who had sunglasses on while he was prophesying, and uh, compel people to give to them in order to get a prophetic word, or giving in this particular instance will move the hands of God. I'm here to tell you today, God never made money. 
So paying somebody or giving to somebody in an effort of breakthrough is a very murky place. My last one, the whole giving scenarios, the whole tithing and all this kind of stuff. There's not one scripture that declares that the tithe was, is, and shall ever be money. It's not there, right? Do we accept donations? Absolutely, we accept donations. And we would love more. Why? Because there's some things that we want to do that we would love to do, okay? Don't let nobody con you out of your paper. Don't let nobody con you out of your bread. Because when you do this and you sow into bad soil and you sow into divination, it makes your money funny and your strange, your change strange. My last thing. If you have not followed us on YouTube, we have over 900 videos on YouTube that we would love for you to see. We believe that Deliverance Chronicles is a safe place to be taught by the Spirit of God, the revelation that God has given us regarding revelation, regarding deliverance, healing, and a bunch of other topics would be edifying to you. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to us. If you're following us on TikTok, I just want to thank all the people that have subscribed and followed on TikTok. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers and I'm just waiting to get there so we can stream live in the 29 days. I think I'll be able to get it today. If, I'm, if I get it today, I'll talk to Prophet O and try to figure out how I can stream live. I just want to thank everybody that is giving, everybody that's supporting, and mostly, even greater than that, every person that is praying for us. And I want to say God bless you. Have a wonderful day.